Hello and welcome to Infinity. Last time we looked at doing a colour grading, which is by reducing the number of colours to a complementary red and cyan, like this. And all we did was we check, unchecked the relative and we went through all of these here, not the whites, neutrals and blacks, and just played around with these until we got the effect we want. So we could then say Control c copy this, go to a picture and Control v paste on it and there we've got our colour scheme which we could then play around with opacity and so on. So the question is from this is could I do another one? Well, I could certainly play around with them but there are problems and let me show you. So if I go to selective colour here and say I want to do the orange and teal, which is the orange there and teal opposite here. So I uncheck the relative, start playing around. That doesn't do anything useful. This one, well, if I go to the left there, it gets it more orange. But if I go too far, it goes yellow. So now, rather than just going to the end stops, which I was doing on the, the red and cyan, now I could have fiddle around with this and is that going to push it out? Looks like it is, but you still you get more problems. And, and to be honest, the my best attempt looked like this, which is not perfect because it's fairly uneven. So I thought, can we use that red and cyan one and tweak it? so that we get a nice smooth colouring like this. Or maybe we could rotate it. Maybe we could use HSL to do that. So I thought, well, let's try it. Let's put in HSL here. And when I change the hue, it changes the colour, but it doesn't do the rotating. So let's kind of leave it at the colour here. If I go to the just stepped one like this, you can see here that orange is at 30 degrees. So that 30 degrees seems like a good idea. So let's go back to that and change that to it's minus 30, it'll do, do in this case. So that'll just get that to the right colour. But it's not rotated, so let's try something else. And I'll put the HSL down below. So I put the HSL here, now below that selective colour. And what if I do this? Ah, now I got rotating. So now let's put this up here. In fact, I'll put this up to 30 degrees. So it's in the right position there for the orange. And if I turn on the top one, now I've got that nice smooth orange and teal. So I can shift click to get select them all, control G to put them in a group and then control C to copy it, go to an image and control V to paste it, and there we've got orange and teal. So the question now is can we do this with other ones? Well of course we can rotate things. Let's have a look here. So another nice one is spring and rose across those that pair there. So let's just go to this one here, open this up, and this one here was minus 30. It was, let's change that to minus 150. And we need to do the one at the bottom as well. And from 30 there to 150. And there we go. So there we got a nice rose and line one. And we can all, of course, go to the group here and adjust the opacity, or we can use blend modes to something that we like. Anyway, that's it. So thank you very much for watching.